Okay. Now for the eyes, I want to roll out a little bit of this red fondant. All right, so roll out some red, and I have the smallest, probably the smallest plunger heart cutter ever right here. Because they're in love, so their pupils of their eyes are going to be um, little hearts. So I'll cut this, and then we'll take this over here. Little bit of water there and pop that right on. See, he's in love. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can just pipe it with some royal icing or even buttercream. Um, if you're going to refrigerate the cake, then just do buttercream because the royal icing tends to want to kind of melt a little bit. And it's easier for me to cut another one rather than to try to pick that up. This is actually a clay cutter for clay. And there's a little something on there, so I can take my toothpick. It's too hard to get in there with my fingers. He's in love. So obviously, if you didn't want to do the hearts, you could just do little dots there. Okay? <laughs> How cute is that? All right, so now I want to just do some little black spots on him, and I think I'm going to, um, I wanted him holding a rose through his mouth, but I think I'll wait till I get her on to see if I still want to do that. Okay, so for him, just little spots, um, I just roll out some black and just kind of flatten it, kind of here and there, and I don't want him to be perfectly round, put a little water on the back. And then he's got a little bit of a wrinkle here from just it settling. So that's a perfect place to put my first little spot. And I'll put a few like on his arms, maybe on a, one or two on his little paws. And what I did here is I just um, you didn't see when my finger went away here. What I did is I touched the cornstarch sack because it was sticking to my my hands, and then wipe it off because you don't want to get the white cornstarch on the black, and just kind of come back and then it won't stick to your hands quite as much. Okay, so here's the little guy with all his little spots on. Right to the back. Okay. And um, we can move them easily on here. If you couldn't move them at this point, I always like to use this um, palette knife. It's an artist palette knife you get at an office, uh, I'm sorry, not an office, <laughs> at an art supply store. And it's uh, got a really thin blade so you can get right under the fondant and release it. Um, rather than trying to use a big spatula because that will actually cut into your fondant and you don't want that. So we'll just um, move him off to the side and then we're going to do a little girl. Um, pretty much same body type and everything. Um, just change her collar up a little bit and um, we're going to have her leaning, you know, more towards him this way. Okay, so we'll get started on that and we'll be back to show you.